to cover. So I just wanted to spend just a second making sure we're all on the same page about what is the Canadian Lakes Loon Survey. The Canadian Lakes Loon Survey is a long-term monitoring program. Um, we look at population monitoring and, uh, I'm sorry, we look at breeding success of the common loon on Canadian inland breeding lakes. We don't really monitor the population of the lakes, but we get an index of reproductive success. Um, and that is the main component of the survey. We track pairs and chicks um, that you see in your area, in your lake or your lake section annually. Um, and um, what else do we do? We have a few other components that we do as well, but um, that is basically what the survey is all about. And it's designed to be done in conjunction with your other activities on the lake. Like if you want to spend all summer looking for loons, go for it. But the survey is really designed so that you can do it in addition to your other lake activities. What else do I have to share with you? So that's basically it for the program. So our agenda tonight is, is fairly simple. We're going to discuss the new Canadian Lakes Loon Survey website, and I'm going to try to do that live from the website. We're going to discuss where you find your resources, how you do data entry, and then there's going to be an, an interactive question and answer session at the end. So let's start by going to the, uh, the survey. And we're going to start at the main portal, which is called the uh, from the Birds Canada webpage. And I'm just going to switch the, the page I'm sharing with you here. And this is what, can you all, I hope you now can all see, oh, I'm going to share. I hope you can all now see the, the web page for the Canadian Lakes Loon Survey. Um, and this is the new web page that was developed this spring. And there's some several nice features here. First off, right at the main page, you have the fact sheet. So anybody interested in volunteering can learn about the program. You have access to the volunteer portal, my contact information. Um, can people see um, Larissa or Liza? Can one of you? Can you guys see my mouse when I move it? There's also listed um, resources to help you with loons. Help loons. Those are more for um, associations. There's also information on loon nest platforms as well as some reading materials. So let's move on to the volunteer portal because that's the main topic of conversation for today. And the volunteer portal is a pretty cool system that has been set up and it is part of Nature Counts and it's part of the Avian Knowledge Network. So that means it's a really big system that a lot of data is being stored in. And um, the Dean Lepage programmed um, a brand new data portal for us that in many ways works just like the old one, but hopefully without the little glitches and things like that that were in the old system. We're asking everybody who's participating in the program to register in this system. And why is that? Well, right now, this the program no longer is tied to donors, donations and membership fees for the for Birds Canada. So this is the best, best way we track surveyors. So we ask people annually to go on, register, sign up for the seat for permanent use of the site and sign up as well for each annual survey season. There's some nice options here I wanted to point out with you. First is a homepage. Every once in a while, the system just kind of gets stuck somewhere. Just remember the home page. If you hit on it, it takes you back to the system. The other one is sign in um, and sign up. Most of us will be signing in. The other one is if you scroll down, we have a section for new and potential surveyors and a section on conducting your, your survey. Now, a couple things I wanted to put point out here with this one is that there's no customized information here and it doesn't give you login name here. So that's two things that clearly show that you're not signed in yet. 
So let's try and sign in here. So when you sign in, you just click on the button. You put in your login name. For many of you, if you've been in the survey in the past, we ported in your old Canadian Lake Sur Loon Survey account ID information. Um, and so that is what you would use here. And you just sign in. And when you sign in, you get a thank you. You're already registered for the season. And something that customizes the site. It also says whether your um, login name at the top. So those two great ways of knowing that you're on. At the bottom as well, it gives you the opportunity to adjust your contact information. What's very important. Now some of you are thinking, well, hold it. I don't know if I have a Loon Survey account or not. So how do you tell if you have a Loon Survey account? I recommend if you have any past involvement with Nature Counts or um, Birds Canada Data Entry or the Canadian Lakes Loon Survey, you begin by trying to see if you have um, a account. And the best way to do that is to use the forget your password option. So if you close in there and you put in an email, I'm just putting in a fake one here, and you click on it, it will tell you immediately if that email is in the system. No, there's no login name or email of that name in the system. So say I think my login name is 1140459, and I look for that. Again, it tells me that there's no login in the system. But if I ask it to send it to an existing email that I have, If that email is in the system and you hit reset, it will send the email to you. And I'll just show you what that email looks like. I'm just going to have to share a different page here. Mm, this one, okay. So if you see here, you get a login um, link like this. And the first thing it tells you is your login ID. So just by clicking on that link, you didn't have your login ID before, you have it now. It also tells you that this email is only good for 30 minutes, so you have to be fairly quick at using it. And it gives you um, a, a login place to, and it gives you a link you can use to reset your password. Now, that was the wrong one. So I have to use this one because they do grow bad. Now, and this is what happens when you're doing online stuff live. Things get out of order. So I gotta come up with my latest one here, which is not today. And anyways, when you click on that link, we'll try that again. And we go in here and we'll see there's a new email. When we click on that, it automatically comes up and you can enter a new password for your site. And there you go, you should be able to get in. And you, you can, know you can get in because you can log, it says you can log in now. So next you can do, you can sign in. We know that it was what was our login? We can go back, grab a login, and I should share this page with you. What page are you guys stuck on here? Okay. Up oh, and classic for me. I never remember my passwords right. So now it looks like you've gone nowhere right, and you're wondering, well, did that work? But if you look up here, you will see that the right login name's there. And if you click on the home page, it takes you back and you see everything you need. Now there's a feature in this particular login that wasn't in the last one. This is called the annual part 
pop-up. And every year at the beginning of the year, we're going to ask you what kind of survey materials you want for that year, whether you want a paper kit or an online kit. Choose whatever one you want and sign up and it's gone. And so you'll see that once every spring and once it's gone, you won't see it again. That helps us even do that for 2020 is that helps us track who's doing what this year. All right. So next, what's the difference in between signing in and signing up? Uh, signing in and signing up. Signing up is what you would use if you are um, on Nature Counts and have never been part of the Loon Survey before, so you don't have a Nature Counts Loon Survey portal component, or if you've just never done online data entry for the for the Loon Survey at any point in the past. So it looks pretty similar. You go to sign up and it takes into your login name. Some things to remember here is you want to make sure your login name is memorable. Um, you're just going to want you to fill in first name or last name. I'm not going to do it here. It's going to want you to confirm the password. And it's going to want an email. Um, it's going to ask you about your, your e-news and what privacy rights you want. And then down below comes the important stuff. It asks you if you want to become a participant and that you agree to the terms and conditions of the project. And the terms and conditions are up and they tell us what is expected of the volunteers. So you would say yes to that. And the other thing you want to say is I'm not a robot. Now, the other thing I want to note here is you want to complete all this component of the website, predominantly because um, if you don't, you regret it later. When you do the data entry online, it, ex it requests that you have a full address on file. So if you do not have your profile complete, it will pause until you go back and complete your your profile that's just a little glitch in there that we have set up because we really we have learned the hard way it's important to know our volunteers contact information at, at all levels so anyways i'm going to hit yes and you're going to see a lot of errors suddenly appear here um up oh, yep there you go now a couple big errors to mention here. This one about if you're trying to save a data form, that's just a generic error it puts up every time. And it just means check all your fields, make sure you left nothing, nothing blank. Um, it's telling me that my login name is chosen already. If that's your favorite name, it may be you. If you chose something um, generic like I love loons, somebody else might be using it. Um, Another big one is the fact it says your email is inter is already attached to another login. That means you're already in the system. If you're a little lost and you can't find yourself in it, give me uh, um, an email and I can help you track that down. But if your email is already in the system, you should be able to do a, um, a password reset and get back with it. It tells me it wants my first name and my last name and my volunteer address, my email address. So that's pretty much the way it works. So let's go back in and sign back in so we have the system running here. Oh, this is an interesting point that I want to show for you as well. And I'm gonna to have to find it by going through my profile, I believe. I wanted to point this feature out down here to everybody. If you're part of a lake association or part of a group that surveys a big lake together, this is a brand new feature that a programmer put in that I think is really cool. Um, if one person is managing the program, you can share the lakes linked to you with the other volunteers that you're working with. So say your Loon volunteer manager goes in and in their own data account, make sure they have links for every section and every lake they want surveyed. Then what they do is they pop an email out to all their volunteers and say, hey, register to the Loon Survey volunteer portal and send me back your login ID. They can add the login ID here. Um, let me see if I get this one right. And then add that login ID to the system. And that one didn't work, um, but, but there it is as well. And that means 
at this point, two other people can look at the same list of links for links that I have. And it helps you make sure that um, those links sections are consistently used year to year. So it's a really handy fit in, um, um, system to keep everything up and running properly. So finally, to identify, we've gone through all that. We'll get back to the home page here. Oh, one other point I should mention about this because it frustrates people. You're going to see down here, every time you go into the profile, it asks you to confirm your password. That's just a safety feature to ensure that it's you in the system. So just make sure you confirm your password every time. It might mention something about resetting the password. You can use the same password in that system. You just have to confirm it whenever you go into the protocol of the profile section. All right, now that we have that set up, what do we need to know? We have learned that the um, yellow pop-up and having your login ID tells you you're in the system and that the pop-up changes on the time of the year. Um, we know that you can access either through the profile for your contacts, or if you want to, you can click down here on contact information and find the same situation. We can also find our Canadian Lakes Loon Survey so information. So if all you want is to get your instructions and print your forms, you do not have to submit data online. You can just go into the conducting your Canadian Lakes Loon Survey part of the system, print your COVID restrictions so you can read them, look at the printable instructions and the printable data form. All you have to do, you do not have to submit data online. That option is for you to choose. We're happy to enter data for you. In most years, we will still be sending paper kits. That just went by the wayside because of COVID-19 this year.